Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. I haven't done one of these in the longest time so I thought I would do one today because a lot has changed let me tell you. So if you do enjoy today's video don't forget to smash a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and let's get on to the video. Okay so as I said a lot has changed. Um, My skin is a lot clearer than it used to be. I have recently had a little burst of a breakout there but it's on the mend slowly but surely and I haven't burst them which is a good thing so I'm just gonna show you how I do my makeup now as I say it's changed a massive amount so I'm gonna start off obviously by chucking on a little headband and getting the hair out of my face um absolutely loving this robe like why didn't I get it sooner it's quite comfy it's like spa like um so grab it molly me felt very molly me robe so comfy okay so I always start off with some skincare I have washed and dried my face using the Garnier let me see I think I've got a spare one in here because I'd rather show you than try and make up whatever it's called this one so this is the face wash that I use this is for combination skin so I absolutely love it okay so obviously as I said I'd washed my face so I then go in with some skincare so I normally go in with my L'Oreal Revitalift products so these were very very kindly oh gifted to me from L'Oreal this video is not sponsored I do genuinely love the products I absolutely love this serum because it's got quite like a tacky sticky base and you kind of get that even through the moisturiser like not for like you can still obviously go out having just done your skincare your face isn't sticky or anything but it's got like enough tack to it that the makeup can like stick nicely so I don't always need to prime um normally what I'll do with primer wise when I'm using this product is just like use a glowy primer or something if that's what I want but then in with the eye product literally take it out once and there's enough for both under eyes that's what I love about this range you literally need to use the dropper once you use like the eye, like one, the eye thing. <laughs> Once you take it out, I use one side for one eye and one side for another eye. And then absolutely love this moisturising water cream because you literally just need to push it down once. So I'm of course just going to let this sit and absorb. You can do what I do and just kind of go in and do your eyebrows or you can let it sit for a good while. Completely up to you, but I find that just letting it sit for that five minutes if that while I do my eyebrows works so I've lost the lid but I'm going to go in with my pink honey brow glue and basically just I say rough up my eyebrows just give them a little bit of texture stick them down a little bit and um, I've been quite enjoying that look recently okay so they're a little bit more stuck down than now like how I normally have them but that's fine um I think I put a bit too much product on I've completely messed that up I've stuck down that bit too much um I put far too much product on but it's fine because I'm quite liking them I'm gonna sort that bit because it looks a bit blocky but now what I'll do is I will go in and use if I can find it in my makeup bag I'm literally so tempted to do a video on like showing you guys what's in my makeup bag because it's this one and obviously it looks like a reasonable size and some of it is out of the bag um literally every time I use a new product from the makeup drawers it goes in the bag so I never put anything back um because I'll use it and I'll be like oh I quite like that so it goes in the everyday makeup bag and nothing ever gets taken out I must have about three or four bronzers in here umpteen blushes, um, so many foundations and tinted moisturisers, it is ridiculous. Okay, so I found it in the monstrosity of the bag, but this is basically the Glow Hub High Coverage Zip, Zip, Zap, 
concealer and this has basically got like products in it to um kind of look after the spot and get rid of the spot so it's like got tea tree and salicylic acid i like to put this on any spots that i do have because i feel like it also will act as a shield so the spot won't be like caked in all of this makeup it's just kind of covered in something that's going to like help it so this shade is a little bit light for me when i fake tan so i'm just kind of going to pop a little bit on um obviously I do then go in with face products and things on top so it's not too bad like it doesn't poke out or like make them any more visible than they already are. I don't really have too many I've ended up popping a little bit on like scars and stuff but I'm kind of going to let that sit for a few minutes and go in with a glowy primer. So I think I'm going to try the Vive Skin Do on I don't know how much I'm going to need can see that it's like really really shiny um which i love but as long as i don't put on too much so i'm just going to work around those like concealer dots um i like to chuck on that concealer and then put this on because we don't need to add any more glow and shine to those spots um we're obviously kind of wanting to cover them rather than bring them out okay i'm just going to take my damp beauty sponge and blend in that concealer okay so i have loads and loads of favorites of like tinted moisturizers slash tanning drops so i'm going to show you them all and then i'm kind of just going to pick one to go with so i'm hoping i'm not missing any because i am going to be raging well i made it in this video but i love 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 the ek and sue be perfect radiant glow i feel like it gives a nice amount of coverage and also a little glow to your skin um, and then by the time you chuck on a little bit of concealer and a little bit of bronzer you don't actually look like you're just wearing like a little primer slash glow moisturizer thing and um, you look like you're wearing a proper foundation and then of course the NARS tinted moisturizer absolutely love this I've had it for so long and I am in love and um, obviously it is a little bit more on the pricier side hence why I have had a little look at more cheaper options but it's definitely one to look at if you don't bother about wanting to go a more like affordable side then the Vita Liberia Beauty Blur Base. This is the one with tan. So when you take it off, it is going to leave you with a nice tan. But obviously when you put moisturising things on underneath, um, it's not going to be as strong. But it is really nice and it comes with a really nice, like, I think they're called like doffers. Um, so it's so easy to apply. Then of course the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I spent so long trying to get it but I've got fair light but again by the time you chuck on some bronzer and things you've kind of warmed it up. It's got a nice amount of coverage. Um, definitely can put like foundation things on top um but as i said i love to use it on its own nice amount of coverage by the time you've finished your makeup you don't look like you're just wearing like a little glow thing you look like you're wearing a foundation but it also looks like skin and that's what i really like it literally as a filter in a bottle then the maybelline four in one glow makeup reflector this is a primer concealer highlighter and a bb cream so this is designed more for how i treat all of these products i think this is one of the yeah like one of the most like products how i treat that makes sense but you get what i mean this is obviously been viral um it was in america first and then us uk people were literally trying to get it and then when it came to the uk trying to get a hold of it was was tough but i managed to do it i've got mine in the shade 1.5 light medium then i absolutely love the bellamina illuminating bronzing drops so when i'm not as tan i like to put this in with my moisturizer obviously to lighten it up but it still give me a glow and a little bit of a color um but when i'm like this tan or tanner I like to put it on itself. It does look a little bit scary and dark in the bottle, but by the time you've popped it on and you've blended it out, 
it is fine. And then again, going on to another pricier product, this is the Positive Light Tinted Moisturiser from Rare Beauty. I've got mine in 13N. 13? 30N. I'll open it from the bottom because why not? Um, and this is it here. It's like a little squeezy bottle, which I really, really like because you kind of just pump out as much as you're wanting and then that's you. I am going to add on a little bit of the Bellamina Tannin Bronzing Drops because obviously I'm a little bit more tanned. This isn't going to match to perfection. It's going to be a little bit light. So I'm going to add a little bit of those in and that way it makes the perfect colour. And you can see how nice this is. It's nice and glowy. It's nice and glowy and it's on without a primer but I'm really liking how that primer's come through as well. And obviously the Bellamina had a little bit of a shine to it so it's nice that I don't look like a tin man and I just look nice and glowy and almost like glass skin like which I quite like if I would stop saying like. So now I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'm going to go in with the HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer and this is in SF2W and I'm literally just going to apply a few though. I'm now going to go in with some pink honey um, bronzer and a doll beauty brush if I could find it. I need to sort out the makeup bag and what I like to do is just tap in a few times. This is in the shade Cookie Butter. I think this is one of the most popular shades and then just tap into the lid and that will kind of take off the excess. Obviously the lid is like full so I'll need to start using that product and that way it cleans up a little bit. I normally use what's in the top of the lid for the forehead because obviously you don't need as much and then I also like to put it in the middle of the cube as well. Now that looks really crazy right now but it gives the appearance of fuller, fuller? <laughs> fuller lips and blending on the side. Just obviously being careful where I'm blending and that kind of makes them look a little bit fuller. So I'm now going to go in with a little bit of my Huda Beauty powder. So this is in Pound Cake and I absolutely love it. I don't normally like coloured powders. Um, I'm going in with a Trigwell powder puff as well. This is just the red one because they brought them out at Christmas but they are normally black. And then they did bring out pink ones that I never managed to get hold of for Valentine's Day. Um, but yeah, I don't normally like coloured powders. But this one is nice. Now for bronzer, I'm going to take my trusted Pula bronzer. Oh my god, can you guys believe that I'm still using this product? I remember when I done a cult beauty haul and I then done a video afterwards and the Charlotte Tilbury powder had like not Pula off its place. Well, we're back at it. I told you nothing would knock it off. And as much as it did, it wasn't for long. Um, so I'm using my trusted Hula bronzer that I have now just got everywhere. <sighs> all over my hands, all over my white brand new robe that just came out the wrapper. Great. Don't know why there's so much like excess anyway. But basically, just I like to tap, um, not wipe because if I wipe then there's a chance of removing the product underneath. Or like moving it about. And then for blush I'm going to use this on from Benefit. It's got a little bit of a shimmer. So it means that I don't need to necessarily wear highlight. Um, and I like that it kind of brings back a little bit of life to my face. Because I've obviously applied so much of like warm colours. Which are basically the same colours. Um by like contouring and stuff we've added so much neutral so it kind of brings back a little bit of warmth do you know what i'm gonna go in with an oldie but a goodie the mac soft and gentle you literally this will last a lifetime i've had this for so many years and i remember when i first got it where is my brush now honestly someone come and put the makeup bag for me please because the girl has far too much in it and can't find anything that she needs. I know that it's got black handle, that's about it. Find it, yeah. So, you literally will last a lifetime. I've had this for so many years. 
and when I first got it because it was one of those products that everyone had so I needed it um I never put it down I never used a different highlight I used obviously far too much um just like many people did so yeah I'm surprised that it's not even got a dent in it but it will last a lifetime so I just add in a subtle glow on top of everything else okay so this is now basically the makeup done i'm now going to go in with my maybelline eyelash eyelash <laughs> cuddle bounce mascara i absolutely love this mascara um i needed to find another setting mist because i basically got this tub downstairs that's full of all the ones that are on tiktok shop so none of those are up here but i don't really want to use my morphe jeffree star one because this is like back 2018 i want to say um when that was sold so again there's no point in using products that you can't get on the market just now okay so the only other two that i can actually find is the mac fix plus matte and this little tart stay spray so obviously we're not wanting a matte finish so I'm gonna go in with the tart one but I don't know where they've all went because I'm sure I had a coconut mac one as well somewhere um but who knows so basically if you're new I like to drown my face in setting spray this I feel like helps it all melt together um so it just looks like one rather than layers so that is just what I'm gonna do if I can get that out of this little ball. So while I was waiting on sets for drying, I had just curled my eyelashes and now I'm gonna go in with my mascara. So as I say, this is the Maybelline Curl Bounce Mascara. I love it. I think it's one of the best mascaras I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot, let's just say that. And that's it. I literally never go in for a second coat. This is just one coat. Um, I don't, I'm not saying I don't believe, but I think that going in with more than one coat can obviously apply like pressure and stuff to your eyelashes if that makes sense because you're kind of weighing them down so yeah if i can find a mascara that i only need one coat means i don't need to wear fake eyelashes all the time and is like easy to take off then i am sold so as far as lips go i'm gonna try a new range so this is from aldi this is their lip liner their gloss and their lipstick obviously this isn't like what i would do every day i would normally just apply a lip balm but i'm really itching to try these and i want to try them in a video as like a first impression so let's try them together so this is perfect nude i think they're all called perfect nude yeah so this is basically like the shade range but there was only one in the aldi that i I've gotten close to me so I'm not sure if they do have normal like other shades and like bigger Aldi's or if this is just maybe like obviously something that they're going to bring out I do wish though when they do bring out beauty products that they would keep them my Aldi's in the beauty section only has like the toner that they brought out it has nothing else so when I hear about other Aldi's like having more or when they bring out beauty products and they don't actually keep them permanently it is a little bit annoying so this is the lip liner i don't know if it looks like a particular brand let me know obviously they are all normally dupes i mean i've got this concealer that is of course tart which i completely forgot to try today so yeah but i'm just going to outline my lips and then i'll show you okay so that is the lip liner done there I really like the colour despite breaking which I guess anyone could do like any brand of lip liner could do I think that it's nice it's creamy it's not hard like, that's it there it is really nice and creamy I know obviously it's the same name so I don't mean it sounds stupid when I say this but it's the exact same colour I think just now what's coming back in is wearing like a darker liner with a lighter lip even if it's just that one to two shades different as long as it's the same tone um so they've not yet clung on to that with this they are all the same shades that might sound really stupid of me but 
I don't mean it like that. I just wasn't sure if they were all called the same name because they all matched or if it's because they were literally the exact same shade, which I don't mind if it's the same shade because I think sometimes like, obviously I've added this to my everyday makeup look so what you would want every day is probably something that's going to match. So that is the end of today's video. I am so impressed with the products that I have tried. Um, that's just kind of like a quick, well I say quick, this video is being recorded on my third lap of hitting the button in the camera I get 24 minutes or something every lap and this is my third one or 60 minutes in so good luck to me editing hi if you've made it this far um but yeah thank you all so 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 much for watching the video it was just a bit of a rundown on what I do every single day for my makeup um I work most days so I need something that is one quick, two easy and three is going to last all day. Not too heavy on my skin. Something easy to take off if I'm on like a late. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Don't forget to smash the big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!